I'm Adam. And I'm Eve. And welcome to BATV Yeti Art News. We're all aware of the latest WikiLeaks scandals to hit our TV, and it seems that Bene Kiva is not immune to this. This shocking footage was released just last night. Shalom Leolam. My name is Joshua Pomerantz. I am a Nivcha Hanala for BAUK 5771, and this is what I've learned. A damning critique there of the levels of Chinuch here in Bnei Akiva, UK. Concerns have also been raised of the welfare of the Chanachim who appear to have been made to sweep floors whilst the senior Madrech plays around with after dinner mints. When we tried to contact Bnei Akiva for a statement on this matter, this was the response we got. Hi, you reached the voicemail of Michael Rainsbury. I'm sorry, I'm unable to take your call. If you'd like to leave a message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. Perhaps Michael was too busy filming yet another BTV exclusive. I'm here representing Bnei Kiva and the Mind the Gap campaign. The Mind the Gap campaign has been led by Bnei Kiva, SNY, other youth movements and the whole Jewish community and over 1,100 people in this petition, which I'm about to hand in. And it's trying to say to the government that gap years are important, they're valuable, and they're not worth losing. And that's why we want the government to change the law so that after the tuition fees rise, anyone who's taking a gap year in 2011 to 12 can still go to university in 2012 and apply and enter under the old fee system, just like it happens when the last fees increase. Bene Kiva have led this campaign and it's very exciting. I'm about to hand it in to Mike Free MP, who's the local MP for Bene Kiva in Finchley and Gold Street. So let's hope the government make an amendment and we can change the law. I, uh, unfortunately, I, I think Michael just missed his bus there. Kiva in Finchley and Gold Street. So let's hope the government make an amendment and we can change the law. Yes, I'm just being told that we can join up again with JJ Wiener at World Veda. JJ, are you there? Hi everyone, it's JJ Wiener here speaking from World uh, Veda of Bnei Akiva. It's the most amazing, exciting event of the year. Wish you were here with me next time you come back. But anyway, speaking to you from... Uh, Michael, we can't, we can't do this. You've got to change it. Yes, unfortunately, we still seem to uh, be experiencing some technical difficulties. Uh, hopefully, we'll get that sorted by the end of the show. Yep. <coughs> Traditionally, the Yidiot magazine was a place for people to share their views on the ideology of Bnei Kiva. With that in mind, we now pass over to Leo Mercer, who is going to share his thoughts on debate within Bnei Kiva. The thing I'm most passionate about Bnei Kiva is the ideological discussions. And in pre we have more time with Fred Mabuchim, we discuss the uh, most heated discussions ever because we fundamentally agree with everything with them. So it's all these kind of service discussions about the nature of religious Zionism, modern orthodoxy, all these things which come up in debate and we're really passionately argue with them. What I found this camp, H course, more than any other camp, is just the Hanachim and their ability to debate, their ability to discuss is inspirational. Every night for hours and hours I sit on a couch um, in the corner and I just discuss like, major philosophical issues. Like that was just pluralism, nature of truth, other religions, everything. And like they know so much, and I see them and it's just like they've got so much potential to think widely and I and I really hope that some of them take it further and spend their life thinking because these are the people who are the ideological leaders of the future. And if they spend time and actually take their ability to think further, then modern orthodox modern orthodoxy, modern orthodox, modern orthodox thought will go so far. The Bogaya of the Month competition always brings about a fierce competitive rivalry amongst Bogrim, and this month was no different. We now hand over to Gideon Bratt on the scene for us in Birmingham to announce the winner. On behalf of Bnei Akiva UK and the Hanhala, I would like to present Mr. Alan Weeder with the prize for Bogaya of the Month. Alan, congratulations. Thank you. Hello. Alan, show us the 
legs, Alan, Alan shows your legs. Alan shows your legs. Alan, Alan shows your legs. Go on, show us your legs. They are indeed beautiful legs. We do apologise for the problems we've been experiencing with Jojo in Jerusalem, but I'm now being told that these have been resolved. Over to you, Jojo. Hi guys, Jojo Wiener speaking from Israel. Uh, I'm having a great time at Bnei Akiva World Vida. I hope you can join me next time, it's probably in about five years. Until then, have a great time back in England and come and visit Israel, I'll be here. Well, it really has been a whirlwind programme today. We hope you've enjoyed it. We'll leave you with a quick look back over some of your favourite moments of Winter Machana. We are back. back in and we eight goals came. Group oh, right, one is filled in And we won. And we named really 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 it really after Daniel and Stu, so we don't really know. But we have Rafaeli. It was really fun though. It was really fun. They're amazing models. We really enjoyed it. We can't wait for next year. Hello, my name is Grace. My name is Gemma. And we're on Harrow Air. Woo! And it is great. It's really fun. Everyone's really nice and I've lost my voice. And I made so many new friends. We've just become friends this winter camp. And Hi, my, my name's Sarah and Harrow Air is great. It's great. We love it. We love it so much. We want to stay here forever. It's my birthday. What do you, th what do you think of H course? As you know, I think it's really clever because it teaches them how to look after children. And they're all disciplined but still fun. Yeah, because they're and we really, really like because really they're them. like children but I don't know. We get on you. <laughs>